One difficulty I see a lot when making maps is coming up with coastlines that look real, that look realistic. Uh, it's hard to come up with coastlines that feel like an actual continent. As human beings, we tend to uh, gravitate towards certain shapes, usually concave shapes, shapes without too many irregularities, or with sometimes with too many irregularities. Um, it's hard to come up with things that look natural. So a good way to do that is to add a little bit of randomness uh, to coming up with the coastline, um, and also to be able to revise what you have uh, very quickly. One trouble is that oftentimes when you're drawing a coastline, you'll draw some shape of some island, and uh, it won't end up looking quite right to you. You think to yourself, um, okay, that's interesting. I want something a little bit more. Um, I want to have some more bays. I want to have some islands. I, that doesn't, quick, doesn't look quite right. I need to change that. So you got to erase the whole thing. You make a little change, and then you make another change, and you erase a little bit more. And it ends up being kind of laborious, and you're just erasing things all the time. Um, so a good way to speed up this whole process and add a little bit of um, an unexpected element to it is to use something like these. Uh, any small object will work. Um, I tend to use these because they're convenient. I have a whole lot of them. Um, you can use things like cereal, like Cheerios would probably work just as well. Um, kind of dump them on there. You can use shapes that sort of show up automatically or because they are little things that you can move around, you can sort of shift them around into positions that you think might look better, right? This allows you to revise the shapes of islands and continents very quickly to get general ideas. Um, let's see. Something over there, an island there. So maybe I have something like that. Um, that looks interesting. I think it looks about right to me. Make a few changes. Okay. Then we can just sort of give yourself a general outline. You don't have to follow the exact shape of the blocks, of course. It just sort of gives you an idea of a shape to use. You can go around them. You can add little bits on. Um, go inside them. You know, ignore blocks that, on second thought, don't look as good as you would have liked them to look. Uh, maybe there's a little island down here. small islands up here. You want to give them more regular shapes than a, a cube, of course. A small island there. Maybe we have a continent slash island up here. It looks like it kind of has like a long tail going off in one direction. We can make use of that. Small island down here. And let's extend this island off into this direction. 
Like a gulf going into there. Around this one. Something like that. And there you have a sort of semi-random uh, continent shapes that you've been able to tinker with uh, very quickly in order to find shapes that you liked. And then you just outline them, making changes as you, as you wish. Of course, there's nothing permanent. You can just make changes on the fly. Um, I feel like this just speeds things up. It speeds up the drafting process anyway, uh, where you figure out general shapes. Instead of having to draw things out and then redraw them and redraw them, you can simply move pieces around. Uh, and that gives you a sense of what you're looking for. Um, hope this is helpful. Um, Feel free to post any uh, images or techniques that you've used using this. Um, subscribe to the channel, like it, uh, leave a comment below if you found it useful, and thanks for watching.